Hey guys, it's Nick from bonbonsai.com and today I'm going to give you some information about indoor bonsai. Now before I get started, I want to tell you about my bonsai book. If you're interested in learning how to prune, trim, and sculpt your, you know, your bonsai, then make sure you go to the link above at bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. Now, moving on to the topic at hand today. Do you have a green thumb or just a desire to grow your own plants, but find that you are restricted by a lack of space for whatever reason? A bonsai might be your answer to the dilemma. Cultivating a bonsai has become very popular, partly for the fact that they don't take much space and they are very decorative uh, when it comes to home decor. There are several types of bonsai that can be grown indoors, including the Chinese bird, plum, Fukuhin, uh tea tree, the Chinese privet, the fig tree, the sacred bamboo, the Buddhist pine, along with several others. Many, possibly, just around your home. You can decide the shape and size of the bonsai by growing them in a little container. Doing this will manage the growth of the roots. In addition, you must trim them frequently. This will ensure that your bonsai remain healthy and beautiful and do not become root bound. There's a specific method to pruning the bonsai. The bonsai, uh, with bonsai, there's a minor bud at the beginning of a new leaf. The bonsai must be trimmed in the direction in which the bud is facing, as a new shoot will grow from there. With small trees to shape the tree, you simply must trim it. With big trees, you have to bend the trees and trunk to give it a shape. The shaping and structuring of bonsai is done during the growing season only. The bonsai needs plenty of sunlight in general but must be kept in moderate temperatures that are not too cold or too hot. If you cannot keep them in a bright room with large windows, you may choose to keep them outside in a semi-shady location. One of the major differences between growing the bonsai is that, unlike many other houseplants or outside garden plants, fertilizer is a necessity for these types of plants. You should only use a fertilizer that is specifically formulated for a bonsai, and use it weekly during the summer and monthly during the winter. Proper watering is also extremely important. These plants should be watered when the soil begins to dry. Then they may be saturated but not watered again until the soil becomes semi-dry once again. Keep in mind that too much fertilizer or water will kill the roots of your bonsai. These beautiful plants are somewhat delicate, but once you learn how to care for them, they're a great hobby and add a fantastic touch to your home while bringing you closer to nature. Now, you need to look up and research more for your own specific bonsai, but these are good general tips. That's all for this video. Uh, check the link above. I'm going to have many more videos to come, literally dozens more to come, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. And that's all for this video. See you next time.